is also known as duplicate stitch. And basically what you are doing is duplicating the shape of a knitted stitch on top of an existing stitch. To do this, it's best to use a blunt ended needle like this one. Begin by coming in at the bottom of the work at the base of a knitted stitch. A knitted stitch, when the fabric is the correct way up with the cast on at the bottom and the cast off at the top, a knitted stitch is an open V. So to begin your Swiss darning, you take the needle in at the base of the stitch, cleanly through the gap, being careful not to split the stitches. Take the needle behind the stitch above, drawing the arm through nice and carefully and slowly. Then you take the needle to complete the embroidery back down through the base of the stitch where the yarn came up from the back of the work to begin the embroidery. You need to be very gentle on how much you pull the yarn because you want it to cover the stitch and not expose the stitch underneath. Let's go off to the right here, so in at the base, across the middle of the stitch above, and then back down through the base. And again, in at the base, across the middle, the stitch above and down through the base. Now if this embroidered line was to go back the other way I would work as follows. I would come in at the base as before but because the line is moving from right to left I will put my needle behind the stitch from right to left. Just to repeat that, if I go to the next stitch diagonally over to the left, again my needle goes across from right to left and this will help the yarn to sit better across on the stitch it will just make the the embroidery look a lot neater. Now if you need to go in a straight vertical line you're going in through the middle as before the middle of the stitch below but it's at the base of the new stitch that you're embroidering. Needle through the middle of the stitch above and then back down through the base. Swiss darning is, is really useful for adding small accents of colour to your knitting. It's always a good idea to start at the bottom and work towards the top. It's very difficult to Swiss darn from the top to the bottom of a shape or an outline. So begin at the bottom and work up towards the top of the knitting.